everybody, welcome back to Tassa's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One, here to help you level up your wig game. Today I have a really special, fun presentation for you. I have selected five wigs that will be my all stars for the month. So they're all sitting back here. We're gonna take a look at each one, try them on. I'm gonna discuss the current pricing on those and give you the reasons why I love them coming up. The featured wig styles today, I have either purchased with my own funds or have been sent to me for review by Wig Studio One. You can find them all at Wig Studio One. All you have to do is drop below the video, expand the description box. I will have a direct product link for each one of these styles. If you click on that link, it will take you directly to the Wig Studio One website where you can check out the pricing and the colors. Many of these will have an automatic discount associated with them, and all of that information is also below. Don't forget to join us on our other social media. We have a Wig Studio One YouTube channel, Facebook group, and Instagram page. I am wearing the new Ellen Villas loop in the color Pearl Blonde Rooted. Uh, this is a brand new style by Ellen Villa, came out in September of 2022. Now the reason why I'm really in love with this is because of its practical nature and ease of wear. A lot of times curly styles can be overwhelming, especially if they're longer. So I just got done doing a, a presentation on comparing some curls by Ellen Villa. And this one reminds me a lot of the Storyville. Now Storyville is a little longer, it's just past my shoulder, and I find that it's a little overwhelming at times. I really love a shorter style, and this one fits the bill for me. Right around 10 to 12 inches, depending on the curl pattern. It's just above the collar on me and probably most people out there. I'm fairly short from hairline to chin and chin to collarbone. Um, but yet it has all that flattering fringe that I love and just all of this chaotic curl. Does anybody remember the old Wiki, W-I-K-I by Ellen Villa? A lot of us still talk about that style. That has, it's a legend among curls. It really is. It was the first curly style that I had was that was super kinky. They had little S patterns in the curls. It was unlike anything I'd ever had before. I fell in love with it and then, you know, they discontinued it. <laughs> A lot of us really would love to see that style come back. So Ellen Villa, if you're listening, right? Ellen Villa does a great job on their curls. And on this one, and also Storyville, you're getting a nice soft, uh, barely curl. You're getting some more cohesive kind of S pattern or zigzag zag type curls. So there is a combination. What I like about that though, is that it's fairly smooth on the crown and around the face. It gives me a little bit uh, more manageability in those areas, which I can truly, truly appreciate. But yet it's wild and free all over. Now this one is very limited in permatease too, so it's not overloaded with permatease. It doesn't feel really warm on the head. It doesn't feel like it's too much. It feels light and cloud-like. It's just beautiful and soft. This one has a full lace front, extended lace front, and then a wee little mono crown right there left of center. So those are the reasons why I love it. Now the price on this one is around $276, again before the automatic 30% off at Wig Studio, Studio One. So as soon as you put it in your cart, you can see the discount on this one. Okay, so let's move on then, and this next one might surprise you. I really fell in love with this little style um, for a lot of different reasons that we're going to discuss, but back here on Mannequin Z, I'm gonna give you a second here, if you can guess. It is also a new release by Ellen Villa. This is Elon, or Elon, Elon or Elon, in metallic blonde rooted, let's try it on. Oh my gosh, do I ever love a well done pixie. This is Ellen Villa's Elon in metallic blonde rooted. Um, now pixies are just that genre of style that you really have to know what you're shopping for, 
right? So you have to know what kind of fringe you like, you know, what uh, what measurements are look good on you. If you want a profile, you have to figure out how that's gonna look in the back. Like I love at least a three and a half inch um, profile in the back. That gives me personally the best look. If you have a low hairline in the back, you have to know what um, nape measurement you need for a pixie. So this one just ticked off all of the boxes for me personally. There's about a three to three and a half inch bang area here. Some layering on the sides, a nice crown. It tapers and sleeks down into just below a two inch nape. Um, I find that that is adequate for the coverage that I need. I love the sculpted void. <laughs> you probably all noticed by now that this little tag was sticking out of the back of my Ellen Villas Elon. I typically don't have to cut my tags out and I hesitate to do it because at some point I may forget what the style is or something like that and need to resort to this. But this was just a little inspector tag. This did not identify the style or anything. So I simply just pulled out the thread a little bit that held it on and it came right out. Boy cut look of this. So you get that sculpted look on the, the sides and the back and nape, but yet you have some fringe to play with and some height on the crown. And some lovely features on this one is the fact that it's really low density. It's low density and it's low permatease as well. And the fit is beautiful. This is a more of an average to petite average fit. So it fits me like a glove. And that's a big, that gets high marks. Like that's half of the battle with me sometimes. It's just getting a really nice fit. Elon's price as of today's filming is around $229. Again, that is before the automatic 30% off at Wig Studio One. You'll see that discount when you put it in the cart. Um, so it can be really affordable after the discount. So the next one we're gonna take a look at is, and I don't think you've seen this one before. So down here on letter Q is T Rose by Beltress, and it's in the color Butterbeer Blonde, and I did a full review on that one. Um, I actually went in and trimmed up that bang a little bit just to bring it up off of my, uh, out of my eyes. But I have recently accumulated another T Rose style. You'll see it up here on the letter D. Let's try it on. So this is T Rose by Belle Tress. It's an automatic shoe-in for my All-Stars this month because it looks just like Dalgona 16, which is a beloved wig style of mine, but only it has a bang. It has a four inch bang. I have not done anything to these bangs. I just kind of swept them off to the side, but I also enjoy it just swept off to the side. Another thing I could do is just take a wide row curling iron and create a little bit of, little bit of lift uh, by curling it under. Um, it's a little cute undercut short four inch bang and it's just so youthful. Bangs are so in style with wigs this year. There's so many new styles coming out. Uh, with bangs, I'd better get used to it, right? Well, it's a good thing I like them because the bangs of the old days were thick and heavy and cut straight across like a blunt cut. Wasn't my cup of tea for sure. Love this curly style. It's about a 16 inches overall length. It has that Beltress Beach Wave. This one also has a fully extended lace front and center monofilament part. Um, very well done and it'll give you so many different styling options away from the face because of the fact that it's extended there are no visible seams and a lot of times you want to do a little bit of an up and over look or an updo and this is just perfect for that purpose beautiful monofilament features now I think this one retails right around $364. And again, Beltrust is one of those brands that is an automatic 30% off at checkout at Wig Studio One. So again, all of those links are below. And I love this champagne with apple pie, a beautiful light warm blonde. Okay, let's take a look. What else do I have back here that I'm showing you in my All-Stars? 
Uh, we took a look at Loop, Elon, and now T Rose. The next one is also a bell tress style, and it's down here, and I've worn this one quite a bit. And this one is the Caliente and Tris Leches Blonde. Let's try it on. Caliente is easily one of my favorite all-time wig styles. And when they come out with it and a brand new blonde, I am all over it. I have been obsessed with the Tris Leches Blonde uh, ever since it came out. And this was the very first piece. No, I take that back. My first piece was the Dalgona in the Tres Leches. This was my second piece in the Tres Leches. And it's just a beautiful, it has a combination of some neutral, some warm, some cool blondes in it. It's really a soft, creamy mix on a light brown root. I love this color. And as you know, Caliente is a nice manageable length, right around 12 to 13 inches overall. It features that Beltress Beach Wave. It has a temple to temple lace front and left monofilament side part. And on this color, I think it's really well done. Nice lace front, and then I actually put in just a little more lift there just with the heat of my hands because I prefer it out and away from my face. This Caliente lays perfectly around my face. I've had some uh, that required a little bit more effort. Um, this one was effortless, and I really appreciate that. So this is Caliente and Tres Leches Blonde. It made my all-stars for the month. It's around $286 retail before the automatic 30% off discount at Wig Studio One. All of the links are below. Okay, so let's take a look at my fifth and final all-star wig for the month. I mean, there's probably more, let's face it, right? Let's take a look at my final style in my all-stars this month. It's on letter E. This is, I'll give you a minute, You've probably all seen it, especially the color is a little different from all my blondes. That one is Ellen Villas Anima. I think it's pronounced Anima. In light Bernstein rooted. Let's get it on. The fluffier, the better. This is how I love Ellen Villas Anima, shown in here in the light Bernstein rooted. What do I love about this style? Well, it's pretty obvious I love this texture, right? It's a shattered broken spiral. It's been textured on the ends. It gives a really nice light density. It has a practical bang, about 4.75 inches on the bang. It features a really little mini lace front and a little spot of a mono crown. It has some permatease, but not a ton. So you can get a little bit of a more subdued profile. It doesn't have to be big. Um, this is a heat friendly style as well, so you could straighten it to your taste. It just would be really hard to get this texture back though if you did that. So I like mine big and fluffy. I like tucking it. That's my favorite way to wear a Nema. Isn't it beautiful? That's some beautiful movement to it. And I do have a full review out there on pretty much, I would say all of these, yes, um, all of the wig styles that I've shown you today, I do have reviews out there. So I would just urge you to make these wigs your own, wear them according to what makes you feel good and confident walking out the door. And this is one brunette that I really find confidence in. Um, it's not so far off of my home color of blonde. It has a lot of blonde in it. Um, some light brown, some blonde, some auburn. It's just a beautiful mix. In fact, with the fall season coming, this would easily top my list for um, a beautiful fall color. So if you are a darker bl uh, brown, you could do this just to give it a little bit of spice. If you are a warm blonde lover and wanna go a little darker for the season, this would be perfect. Um, again, just the price on Anima is around $288 as of the date of the filming here. And you can find all of those links below. This is Ellen Villa and this brand is an automatic 30% off at Wig Studio One uh, as long as the promo lasts. So this rounds out my top 
all-star, top five all-star wigs for the month. Um, we started out with Loop by Ellen Villa and Pearl Blonde Rooted. We went on to Elon by Ellen Villa in Metallic Blonde Rooted. We took a look at uh, the Belle Tress Tea Rose in Champagne with Apple Pie. And what else did we see here? Um, oh, the Caliente. Uh, they, they're all on this side today. The Caliente by Beltrust in Tres Leches Blonde and then ending with Ellen Villa's Anima in Light Bernstein Rooted. Have a great day. Thanks for joining me today. We'll see you again real soon right here on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.